Attention everyone, the library will be closing in 10 minutes. Hey, I know you need this stack of books to study for the midterm exams. Do you want me to help you carry them to where you live? Okay. But we'd better hurry home before it gets too dark. Once we reach the end of the forest, we'll walk a few more blocks. It's a lot more walking but I don't really want you to be seen in a certain area for too long. Okay, I won't mind. Hey, thanks for convincing John to let me borrow some of his books. Hey, it's no problem Rico. You and your brother have been by my side all these years. I like him as much as you. You're going to do great, I just know it. Well, it's the least I can do right now. I wonder if Enzo is at home right now. Also, I know you're at a college now Garfield. It would be very lonely without you. Jesus. My arms are killing me. Let's just put down the books for a few minutes and then we can. Who's there? Well well well. Look what I found. What are you two cute kitty cats doing here? Get the fuck out of our way you stinky old snitch. Feisty. You're a bad kitty. Just the way I like that. Come on I'll play nice. Ouch. My head hurts really bad. Where is my axe? Someone help. I can't move. Let me go. Who the fuck are? The name is Enzo. Enzo. Get him bro. Please. No more. If I ever see you with them again, I'll cut you in half. Do you understand? Or would you like to get shot? Either way, touch them again, or even think about it, I'll kill you. Let's get out of here. Rico, why didn't you have your axe? I told you to make sure you always have it with you in case you have to deal with people like that. It was all my fault Enzo. We lost track of time while I helped Rico with his studying. I'm really sorry. I'm not mad you guys. I'm just very concerned. I'm just glad that you two are okay. Rico, are you going to be okay? Yeah, don't worry. I'll be fine. Well, I'd better get going. John is probably wondering where I am. Once again, I'm really sorry you guys. It's all my fault. Hey, it's not. Garfield. Look Garfield. It's getting really late. I'm taking you home. You don't need to do that Enzo. I'm very sneaky during the night. I'm sure I'll be fine. No no, I'm coming. The last thing I need is for you to run into another snitch like that. Rico, are you sure you'll be okay here all by yourself? Yeah, my head hurts just a little bit so all I need is some rest. But... If that guy or any assholes get in here though, I'll take out what you forgot to throw away. That's my bro. Thanks for taking me home Enzo. Ouch. Jesus. Enzo. Your hand. I need to take a look at it. Wait here. I'll sneak you through my basement. Okay Enzo, you can come down from the windowsill now. Let me take a look at your hand. Oh my goodness. You appear to be injured. Don't worry, I get it patched up for you. Oh hello. Duplus, is it? I ran into you on campus this afternoon. Who's your friend? He looks like he's as old as a professor and not a student. Hi Shout. I was wondering where Rosalina was. And this is Chet Alexander. Wait. He's the one she's been talking. Hey Shout, who's at the table? I thought you said you weren't inviting. 
Well, I'm off to see if the rest of the Fresh Beat Band is ready to head out to the arcade. You got this. I know it. Say something, dude. I... I, I missed, missed you, so, you much. so much. It's so great to see you. Same here. Um, hey, would you like to meet me tomorrow morning at the Starbucks near the Shark Guy Villa so we can talk and catch up on a few things? Sure. I would love to. I so ship it. Hello. Colby, is that you? Hey Chris. Me and Carter just left South Dakota. We're heading over to pick up Carland after we get Conrad from Utah. We'll pick you up next. How was Minnesota? Hey bro. Don't forget to call home and chat. I can't wait to see them again. Nice. And it's been awesome. The work boss gave me was a lot of slack. Can't wait to see you guys tomorrow afternoon. And yes, I'll call Chet and Cam when I get to Guanamut City. Okay, well, we've got to go now. You know, to be 100% honest, I feel really bad that we're, you know, meeting under these circumstances. I hope Colm won't take the news too hard. I know. But all we can do is help one another. I've already called Conrad and Carl. Like us, they're doing fine. I wish we didn't have to leave our cousins for so long. Hey Chris and Colby, I'm taking the exit turn right now. I guess we'll talk in the morning. Well, at least for us when we arrive in Utah. Okay. But I want to say this. Let's help Kim, Clarissa, or Chase deal with the shock. Also, I can't believe I'm saying this, but... Those two CAA kidnappers. And the criminal who tried to kidnap me once. They still give me nightmares. Even after 21 years. Okay, the cut is all better now. I finished wrapping up the bandage. It was almost infected, but I was lucky to save it. Hey Enzo, did you get a tattoo on your arm? Yay, I just got it a few weeks ago at the local tattoo shop. It costed 50 bucks but I really like it. It's a picture of one of my ancestors 1000 years ago fighting a beast. I think it looks snazzy. Well, you'd better get going. I have a long day tomorrow. Once again, thanks for walking me home. Thanks again, and you're welcome. Night. Hey, what are you doing here? So, Garfield, huh? Think he's crazy. What about you? Rico and I have known Garfield for at least eight years. He means everything to us. He's like family. Anyways, what are you doing here, Levi? I came to ask you a big favor. What is it? Just listen. I'm sure you and Rico will benefit from my doing. Fine. I'm listening. <laughs> 